Okay, hello everybody. We're we're here uh, now with the cast of Get the Message, or part of the cast of Get the Message. Uh, we have with us tonight Eileen Doherty, who played the part of Cookie Cutter uh, in this wonderful, wonderful piece by Connie Keffinger. And uh, how are you doing there, Eileen? Welcome. I'm fine. Thank you very much for having me. And may I say, too, this is our first time at actually video interviewing, so it's kind of an exciting thing for us. And uh, you're coming in loud and clear, Eileen. It's good to see you. Uh, All right. So can, <laughs> can you tell us how you got involved in this project in the first place? Well, actually, um, they were I, – I, Connie asked me to be in this play, get the message, right after finishing – Sideshow, which was her original play that I was cast in. And that was a longer play and a wonderful experience. And then we went right in to get the message, which is a completely different type of play, short play, and quite interesting, I think. Don't you? Oh, absolutely. I think uh, this whole idea of the cell phone having a personality of its own, uh, I think a lot of us can identify with this. Many times I've thought my cell phone had a mind of its own, and I think it, I think it's a common kind of a thing for people to identify with. It, it, it's very cleverly written, very cleverly written, and I love the character you played, and you, you did a wonderful job, by the way. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I had now, this a lot was, <laughs> When this was performed, uh, was this piece performed at the Manhattan Repertory Theater as well? Yes. And, yes. uh and the other uh, piece that you did with Connie was also performed there? Yes, actually. It was, that was done first, and then she says, decided to do this right afterwards. That's fantastic. Now, were you able to, uh, how were you able to identify with your character here? Was that, was there's a, a lot of you in this, or was it, uh, would you say yeah. you could you know, draw on a lot of personal things for this character? Well, I, I really did relate to it from the moment that I, um, read it it's the person is sort of a smart aleck and i can be that and she's a writer she's artistic and uh something that i think is really in the crux of this play is that she's open to all sorts of things she feels like the energy is about coincidences not really being coincidences but sort of being brought to a place and it's not by accident and that's kind of a through line in this play, and it sort of ends up with me saying that to Diana, the other, the main character in the play. Fantastic. Well, it, she all, she's going to be with us tomorrow uh, for an, we're going to be interviewing everybody. I'm sorry we couldn't have you all here together so that we could get your feedback together, but uh, it was a wonderful ensemble. Oh yes, yeah. she's wonderful. wonderful ensemble. It was a great fun time. Now, had you worked together before, or was this your first time? Yes, actually, first? she was the person with whom I was acting in the previous play. Oh. And uh, she's amazing in terms of memorization, I'll tell you that. She knew every line before <laughs> it started. So uh, she's really fun to work with, and we had great chemistry then, which was quite different than this play, and it, it was a joy. That's fantastic. Now, can you tell us what other things are you doing or have you done? Well, I've done quite a few things in the last year that were um, sort of brought to me accidentally, and they were they were just wonderful. Most of them were uh, original plays. Right now, I've been working on a screenplay by Paul Navarro that's The Last Dance at Palomar Gardens. We may be on hold for that right now, but then I go into a short play called Mother Issues by a young man named Tomer Adorian. And that will also be done at Manhattan Rep. It just happens that he chose to do his play there. And it's hilarious. It's a two-person play. And then my husband and I are working on a screenplay that was sent to us by a wonderful writer, Reed Parsley. And it's called Bob and Bertolou. We're in the works now of trying to figure out what to do with that, but we're really excited. Well, it's a lot of fun working on a, a brand new piece where you get to create the, yes. the role. It's, it's such a pleasure and an honor, too, because you get to create, you know, what you think it is. And then with the great direction and work with the playwright, it all gets molded into this wonderful new life. That's fantastic. I noticed also on your bio uh, that you're a part of, is it Cotter Smith's workshop? Yes, indeed. And could you tell us a little bit about that? What? What happens? Well, 
Uh, what happened? Sharks. We started there, my husband and I both started there in 2011, and he's a very well-known actor. He's an extraordinary actor, um, soon to be in Shakespeare in the Park this summer. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yes, and... Um, he works with professional people. It's not an acting class. It's not a scene study class. We go in there if we're preparing for an audition. We can do that, or we work together with scenes. It's become a family, a very comforting, uh, supportive area in which to play when you act. I mean, it, to develop characters and relationships. Uh, he's wonderful. I can't say enough about him. That and sounds like a fantastic opportunity, yeah, to be involved with that. And he's also, for any of those people who want to get into a different kind of educational system, he is working at the new school and uh, has a very important role there. So anybody should look him up and, and work with him if at all possible. Wow, what a great opportunity that would be. <laughs> I wish yeah. I lived closer. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is fantastic. So, uh, it sounds like you're having a wonderful career, and it's wonderful that you and your husband are able to be doing some of this together. I always admire couples that have that opportunity. I think that must be great. It's a joy. It's a thrill. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I want to thank you so much, Eileen. For, is there anything else that uh, you, you want to bring up that you're going to be doing in the future? It sounds like you... Uh, uh, those are so far Thanks. what I know of, but I'll get back to you later on. Then. Yeah, and I hope we hope you'll be back. We hope you'll be back with us here on Airplay. We really appreciate your sharing your talents with us. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for being in here. You're very welcome. Thank you.